Give it a look. Some parasol mushrooms. The only thing is they're growing right next to the path, but I am tempted to maybe come back and get Head rush. Wall jump around me. I don't know why I've done that. Oh, never be, you know, it's always handy to have it, mate, isn't it? Just to be prepared, I suppose. Yeah, you know. but, you know. Are you going to? Uh, that gives me um, a bit of char cloth, I think. Oh. Right. 
Right, so the chosen method of fire lighting today is going to be sea steel, a bit of flint, and um, believe it or not, I am actually low on char cloth, so I've, lucky enough I've got some in the, cot in the cotton in there to be made for later. <laughs> but I'm running low, how the hell can that be? Amateur. I am an amateur. Oh well, let's use what we've got then. Preparation on my behalf, actually. Very poor. But the conditions are fine. Very bad preparation there. Could have been worse. That's terrible. The thing is, when the conditions are nice, you sort of. Thing I don't like using, even though it's the bestest, but is birch. Is that because it's so easy. common, isn't it? So you need to, um, that's what I was thinking, you need to um, adapt to other materials as well. Yeah, definitely, man. But it's too easy to become quite dependent on birch, isn't it? Oh, it's uh, everything, isn't it? We all get, we, you know. but it's what, what works, mate, isn't it? At the, yeah. you know, I suppose as well, there could be that argument and... If you're stuck in a woodland when you ain't got perch, you do. But right now we have got it. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't stuck in a woodland. And I'm responsible for the fire and I'm making, <laughs> making a meal of it. How you doing, right? Yeah. Oh, we're there. It's still it's just... classes as your first attempt. Yeah. It's still there, isn't it? Still, yeah. Got to show it all. Attempts were that bad. I'd be quite chuffed. Oh, wait, mate. <laughs> Nothing. There we go. Fire. Job, job.
Right, hello folks, how you doing? It's Des Catties. I'm out with Barney uh, this weekend. Where uh, we come out early this morning, so we've literally both set up. We're a helicon Texan, actually, under ponchos and such like. We're fanboys, yeah. So Barney. Got a over there as well. <laughs> so Barney's got the uh, he's got the green version, and I've got the. Uh, I was better than yours. <laughs> I've got the uh, Polish one. Um, as you might, if you recall, some time ago when I was out with David Fryers. Uh, we was out in the wind and the other woodland US Army one that I had got speared. So I'm on the market to get a second one. I'm going to probably get another Polish type camo one to match it. But anyway, um, already it's, you know, the sun's shining and all the rest of it. There's no wind, but there's been a lot of mozzies and God knows what else buzzing around their heads already. So um, with that, I'm so glad, good call, that I've actually bought out my mosquito net for a change. Um, when I was up here once before, when I came out with Lauren and her boyfriend, when we did the camp out, I ended up sleeping next to the fire because I was just getting annoyed by the mosquitoes buzzing around me, even though I had my head net on. Um, so on this occasion, I've actually got the uh, mosquito net set up in now. Um, so, yeah. So, mosquitoes, go do one. So, uh, yeah, practicing a few bits over the weekend, as you do. Barney wants to practice some stuff because he's got some plans coming up in the pipeline in the future. So he's just rehearsing some skills and such like, and uh, we're just going to enjoy the weekend. You know, typical sort of thing with project with with the videos. Um, you know, there'll be different bits going on in the background and all that sort of stuff, and I'll try and record it and obviously share it with you. So uh, enjoy the video, folks. Uh, catch up with you later. Now I've just been having a little bimble round in the woods and um, I've come across this gem man. I'm so like, so overwhelmed and excited about it that I have to share it with you, the viewers. So let's go and have a look. I've actually found a, a bacon tree and um, lucky enough this one's, you know, it's quite ripe at the moment. You know, we've got a nice, we've got a nice few uh, uh, sort of bacon rashes there. So um, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it really? So I'm gonna take those and uh, we're gonna go and do some culinary cooking with it. So I'd be rude not to, we've got the old, uh, got the old bacon from the bacon tree and uh, uh, no. So the smoke stopped in the tin. Get it off the fire. Poke a stick into it. And we'll allow that to cool down. And that'll be my next batch of chart cloth.
go. It's a bit damp.
bit of ashes. It's quite damp on the inside, so I've had to uh, light a piece of birch bark and use that instead. green sticks. Baking time. Are you sharing it? No, I've got three rashes. Oh, right. <laughs> I've got to make a little firewall in the hand to keep it going, keep it ticking over. Dry that up. Hmm? You're buzzing later. See, I'll disappoint all this in coffee off the said moment. Quite rotten in the middle there. Funky. Quite funky, isn't it? I like about the peace, the quiet, the solitude. Well, someone, <laughs> someone <laughs> fucking packing for a bit of wood. Frustrated lumberjack. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday I was quite, uh, we've been out here working and uh, heading home. Just got over the A2 and a uh, couple coming the other way. I, was, I wasn't really paying attention, I just knew they were there. Just to not do a little... Hello John, it's one of my old pupils. Hey, your old Fanny. pupils? Yeah, Eamon yeah. Fanny. The, um, Eamon Fanny? Customs and Excise. Oh, that means, yeah. yeah. I said to him, still in the same business sort of thing, yeah. I think he worked in my place, man. He was in Ireland, uh, 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 international liaison officer. Uh, overseas for a while, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. He's got, um, I want to say, I think he might have been in the Caribbean. No, I don't know exactly where. I knew he'd gone a book as he was. At the time, there was one of my PE teachers who came in and he'd left school by then, so, so I think that uh, the, they were together for a short while. Um, this is going to be for my uh, um, um, not bit of steak for later. He, he went to, I'm going to blank it, more, so I might more, even cut it so. down the middle so I thin it out a bit more and then put two on there. So it'll be dinner for later. I'm going to plank it. Some, uh, it's got a piece of greenwood for the uh, for the stakes to stake the stake on onto the plank. So I'm just taking the bark off, as you can see, pretty obvious.
ลาลาลาเป๊ะไม่ถึงซ้ายไม่ถึงซ้ายแต่ฉันไม่สามารถไม่ถึงฉันจะเอาออกไปแล้วฉันคิดว่าคุณจะเอาออกไม่ได้ไม่ถึงซ้ายฉันกำลังรับมือนะมีประสบการณ์Because that's quite thick, isn't it? Why don't you give it a whack and tenderise it? What and flatten it? Yeah. Uh, 
No. Yeah. Need to make another plank. <laughs> no, I could make, I could sort of do it actually. I yeah. might try to tenderise it. Yeah, no, you're good. that's a good idea though, Barn. I'm going to tenderise it. A bit of sycamore here. Use your I'll stop videoing for a second then. Alright, here we go then. Okay. I think it has. Another pig. Is that out? I don't think it has. Just use me. Uh, Why is it when I turn the camera on, it starts playing up? Sorry? Start recording and then that's when it starts making it difficult. So it's, yeah. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, there's the beef now, pegged out on the plank and just leave it in front of the fire for a while. And as Barney rightly described, a cacophony of various mugs. Not as good as that bit of steak I had the other week. It's a bit more fatty this one. Mm. Definitely. The thing with ribeye in it, you get a lot of fat in it. It's a, it's a nice fat that yeah, gives flavour to the meat. This has got lots. Flavor, but the old gristle as you say. So you got yeah. 
you've got hours to slow cook it, it's one thing, but yeah. you haven't really had to. It's sort of a bit difficult sometimes, isn't it, to get it? Yeah, look, there's quite a bit of uh, sinew sort of in it. I won't bother with that. Deserved. Barney's the alky, he's got the double uh, pump, it's 8% odd. It's like yours, but better. It's a lot more, <laughs> but, better. <laughs> but better. Twice as good. Yeah, I've got a single punk, whereas Barney's got a double punk. What's that program with us? Say? Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Did you know what I mean? No, I, I, uh, no. Sounds a bit it's from the uh, from the early nineties, I think. And John has got that is nice, that hobgoblin gold. That's that's, oh, that's, that's nice. Cute. Have you tried the other one? Ruby. Like the IPA one they've got in the light. It's like that, but with like a light blue on the can. No, I haven't. Oh, that's no. lovely. That is. The ruby's nice as well. It's a little bit darker, a bit stronger, but not not ridiculously so. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. nice if you just want a nice session beer. Yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah, go down a treat. Yeah, I had some when we went down. When I went down to um, when I went up to the Reekin, um, oh, it was lovely. Like I only took about four cans of it, and like, and it's got like a light blue. My missus got them last minute for me. She, and she, I said, oh, it's, it's really nice. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yeah, we're settling down now. We've done, we've done all our chores for today. Uh, go on in. I'm not quite as an alcoholic as you though. Know. Is it stronger? Can you really sort of taste it? It's the same, doesn't it? I suppose you get through the can and you'll know about it. It's a little bit better. <laughs> little bit better. Lighter, lighter I found yesterday, so running out of gas. <laughs> okay, good morning, folks. What a lovely morning it is. We're uh, up nice and early, well, early ish. Having a cup of having a brew and chewing the fat, and uh, yeah, don't know what else to say right now. No, really lovely morning, it's a lovely morning, yeah. It's, it's just like a really early, sort of autumnal kind of morning, and it as cooler as it has been of late, which is absolutely lovely. I was trying out this mosquito net, which has been absolutely fab. Um, I had a lot of interest from people on Instagram messaging me when I put a picture up um, asking for the link to the uh, to the item. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the bottom to my affiliates page. Um, so if people can hold on if they do want one, um, I'll stick it there and there and then obviously you'll do me a favour as well as doing yourself a favour.
All right, hello folks, how's it going? It's, uh, it's me. So, uh, coming to the uh, conclusion of our weekend. So, uh, a few little bits going on, you know, nothing too much. It's just nice to get out for an overnight and catch up with the lads. Um, so, uh, that's it really. So, um, yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, all I want to say quickly, folks, is the, um, I might have mentioned it earlier on in one of the video bits, but, um, the uh, mosquito net had some interest when I put a picture up on Instagram. If you are interested in it, um, check out my uh, the link to the affiliate and um, purchase it through there. And then obviously do me a favour as well as yourself. All right, you, you know you're not paying any more for it, but I'll get obviously a little bit of a percentage. All right, so uh, and that's it, folks. All right, so thanks for watching. Please take care. There's Cat signing out, and I'll see you on the flip side. Later.